All right, so Lloyd, uh, thank you so much for being here again, even though your voice is a little bit hoarse. Uh, Hopefully I'll be able to finish. Oh, okay. We'll get, yeah. <laughs> we'll get halfway there. Halfway there, we can hear you. Can you guys hear him? Yeah. yeah, great. Okay, so uh, Lloyd was here in the hot seat uh, three months ago. He's just finished the program, and uh, some of you may have seen his testimonial. He was here before sharing about his uh, goals and achievements, and now you've finished the program, so uh, I'd love you to share again, voice permitting. <laughs> so can you share with us what were your concerns before you started the program? Yeah, so I've been in sales um, since about 2008. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm used to working hard and, you know, you know, really pushing. But essentially I come to the point where I wasn't sure whether the, the, the way that I was doing things were working for me. Yeah. And I was looking for some other way to do things. Um, and then when I came across this program, I thought to myself, okay, you know, obviously some, anything of value is going to cost money, I understand that. So yeah. there's a certain investment that is necessary for me to make. Yeah. But really my concern was, I had a fear of failure yeah. from trying to succeed and failing over and over again. And yeah. starting different businesses and things like that. So my real concern was me, Yeah. to be honest. Okay, very honest, yeah. And um, and okay, so what what was your life like before you started the course? What was happening for you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anybody who knows me um, and anybody who's watching uh, when this arrives on the on the World Wide Web, um, I for the last twenty years I have um, been more in, interested in having fun than doing anything constructive. <laughs> basically so um, you know I've, I've had different ideas I've got excited about things I've tried to apply myself but I'm really I'm just not very structured human being because I'm artistic so I get excited about things and then I get excited about something else yeah. so although I have the the impetus and the desire there's not a lot of focus happening yeah. this is before keeping yeah. in mind before okay so what did you want to achieve from the course can you share with us? Right, well, uh, I wasn't really sure initially. Um, I came to uh, the event in June and mm -hmm. I did the exact same exercise that you guys did today. Mm -hmm. So it transpired that I want to make 160,000 euro a year. Yeah. I want to work from home, I want to live in the country, and I want to run my own business. Perfect, fantastic. And what was stopping you from getting that before the course? Uh, again, <laughs> comes back to me and, and my habits and attitudes but I think really that I kind of I got to the point where I'd stopped wanting to be brilliant okay yeah so I was happy to be good because I've always found things quite easy anything I try I, yeah. I do quite well at yeah. but that doesn't mean I do the best you yeah. know, it's all well and good if anybody the way I look at it now if you're the second person you're the best loser Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, so okay. <laughs> really seriously, so uh, I would rather be. I'm, I'm quite competitive. I'm in sales, obviously, mm. so that's necessary. But um, you know, I, I want to create something that's not been done before. Yeah. I want to turn myself into the person that I want to be. Yeah. Because everybody has a right to that. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And so, can you share with us a little bit about what you've achieved so far? I can. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Great. I um, in. <laughs> I would started a new job in January in, mm -hmm. in the sales job. It's it's a good company, you know, a lot of opportunities there and so on. But I was averaging about six thousand euro in sales mm -hmm. a month. Yeah, which is all right, you know. It's not so much for the for the role mm -hmm. that I'm in. Um, that was from uh, January until May. Yeah. So we sat down in June. We had a yeah. chat, and I decided to do the course, etc. And since June. I think I made two hundred and seven thousand. Wow! In sales, so yeah. Wow. Which is, uh, I was only looking at the figures this morning, so uh, that, that's good that's job, boy. Great profession. Um, yeah, but uh, but the goal now is four hundred grand before June. Isn't Brilliant. It? So Brilliant. Because no point. It's all well and good doing well, but unless yeah. you're going to up the ante, there's a very little yeah. point, in, yeah. in my opinion. There's a sales spirit coming on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. So that was one of them. Um, mm -hmm. The other thing was I had intended to get into the ring mm -hmm. and fight in a K1 kickboxing fight. Now I had intended to win, which I didn't. Well, you know that's all right. You know it comes back to, you know, 
um, skill is developed through action. Mm -hmm. So although you might want to win something and you might think, you know, imagine yourself winning, you still have to put the time and the effort in and you need yeah. to per perfect your craft. Yeah. It's not enough wanting it, you have to, the actions are important. So although I was doing a lot of training, there's things that I realized after the fight that I could have done differently, mm -hmm. which would have helped me to win. Mm -hmm. Now, supposedly the other guy had more experience than me, but that's not really the point. You know, I, I was ready to get in the ring and I should yeah. have done it differently. But, you know, so that was a success. Yes, well, well you, you stood there and you took part in the fight, even though you weren't ready. It's, pre <laughs> it's pretty scary. So, uh, for yeah. anybody who's, who's gone in the ring before, it takes a certain type of yeah. um, quality of character, which I'm not suggesting I already had, but I had to develop that. Yeah. Um, to, to, to get in the ring in the first place. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, so there's a, a part in the program where they ask you to imagine your uh, the home that you would like to live in. Yeah. So I had imagined, okay, a fully detached house in the country, four bedrooms, and uh, like on a quarter of an acre. And tomorrow I go and have a look at a house four bedrooms, fully detached, in the country, on a quarter of an acre. So I, I don't think that's uh, by mistake. It's not, by design. Yeah, by design, yeah. you know. So Perfect. life by design sounds okay to me, so. Yeah, uh, it sounds good to me too. Yeah, and then also I wanted to start my own business. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, a kind of referral website mm -hmm. uh, where I can help start up businesses succeed and so on. So the, we launched the website in March. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a bit going on. Yeah, and, so uh, Yeah. <laughs> So to the point at which I even went and decided to do the course again, mm -hmm. um, which, like when you mentioned about Think and Grow Rich, why would it, and Bob mentions it in the program, why would you read a book and then read it again? Mm -hmm. You've already read it, right? But you don't digest the information <coughs> properly. So I felt that if I did the program once and got X results having put in about, I reckon, 75% of what I could have put into it yeah. uh, because of various reasons I had, it, had things I needed to change mm -hmm. and now if I put in 100% I get more back and yeah. then start a habit. Perfect and you've, you've already achieved a lot and, and th the, the thing is this, I mean Bob is 81 and he still continuously grows, he still continuously sets goals so it's pretty much the same for you. Uh, so in next six months we'll see Lloyd here again. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to be talking about. I want that K1 fight. Knows, knows, yeah. <laughs> Great stuff. And the last question is: Would you recommend the course to anybody? And if you would, why? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I mean, I mean <clears throat> not everybody is ready to make a change. Yes. Because I think Bob mentioned. I'm not sure if it was in this one or not. But change is inevitable. But personal growth is a choice. Yes. So. You know, everybody has dreams and goals and motivations and things like that. And who are you to take it away from yourself? Mm -hmm. Essentially, you know, there's no reason why you can't have the life that you want. Yeah. And you're being a bit irresponsible by not giving yourself the opportunity. Yeah. To go and get it. And yes, of course, you can achieve things on your own. There's examples of people across the world who've done so. But yeah. it, I can tell you this: it's a lot more difficult. So. Most people who are successful have a coach mm -hmm. uh, of some description. Mm -hmm. um, Tiger Woods, I know he's been defamed a little bit over the years recently, but if you think about it, he, he was the best in the world, and yet mm -hmm. before he takes every putt, he goes and looks right at, at his coach to make sure he's doing it properly. Yeah. You know, it's, those things are important. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you very much. Give him a clap.